know what I say usually when I got into the University of Miami? Right now, if I had to redo it with my English skills, way be better. Even you, Penn. Like if I started right now, now I am prepared, but not at that time. You see what I'm saying? Like at that time, I was just still gaining the skills of the language. And it was very hard to do the language and learn the material. For me, that transition was during high school. And, um, you know, high school, you can make a lot of mistakes. And there's no, there is no high stakes, uh, except for the region's exams. And the region's exams are not even that big of a deal. Yeah, I have wild ideas about this. Like, when I was doing my research at UPenn, I questioned the whole idea, studying your higher education. And all of your previous education, you did it in a different language, different culture. It's just like they don't talk to each other. And so, and then I said, who said that is a good idea? You know, like, why not just, you went to Arabic schools up to high school, man, go and study in college in, in Arabic. Because for me, I was interested in literacy. So well, how do you become a literate person? Literacy is like levels. So when I started in English, I wasn't academically literate, not at all, not at all. My reading comprehension wasn't good, much less my writing. So, but in Arabic, I was literate. I was fine. So you see that create like it creates problem that otherwise could be avoided. And a lot of international students who come to the US, they study their education from China, Saudi Arabia in particular. I'm not sure like once they graduate, they really don't succeed in the modern system. Do you think programs like the Hadramur Foundation or programs that facilitate for post high school education are doing disservice to students? No, no, I I wouldn't say that because I'm still like on the midst of it. You know, maybe at the end of the tunnel, it's better to go through this difficult process. But it is a difficult process. And so far, I haven't really seen any good outcomes out of it. Very few, but they are the exceptions. Like the rule I see, if somebody did their high school and early schooling, let's say in Arabic, and then they came to the U.S., I haven't seen a lot of these students succeed in the U.S. context. They will just finish the U.S. and go back home and then try to go back to that system. So uh, to me, you can just like finish your college in that system and that will make things a lot easier.